All right, so as a pathologist, do I see parasites? I was thinking about this today uh, because I've been getting questions on it, and I also saw this headline, Heidi Klum model uh, is starting a worm and parasite cleanse. This was an article in the Wall Street Journal. I'm not really sure how Wall Street Journal and, and parasite cleanses go together, but uh, let's address it. So first of all, will this help her? It won't. Um, the, the, the thing is with parasite cleanses, right, is that at least in the Western world, in the United States especially, we really don't have many parasites here. I've been a pathologist or in pathology training and a pathologist for 21 years um, at big institutions and at smaller rural areas. And um, I basically never see parasites. And remember, we're the only doctors who are actually looking at all of the tissues in the patient. Now, parasites they do exist, of course, and they are much more common in other areas that are undeveloped. And we do have them here in the United States. For instance, if you were to take a cup, walk down to your local creek, scoop up some water and drink it, there's a pretty solid chance you're gonna end up with a Giardia parasite in your small intestine. It's gonna cause nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. But we've avoided that by not drinking creek water. Likewise, it's very possible to have a beef or pork tapeworm uh, in your muscles or in your organs or in your brain, uh, that can happen if you eat tainted meat that has not been well cooked. But for dozens and of decades, we have had good uh, preparation of the meat products. Um, we very often cook our meat. And so we don't really have to worry about these sort of things. And parasitology is actually an extremely interesting field. It's just not something in America that we see a lot of. When I saw uh, my parasite cases when I was in my training and I was seeing you know, just hundreds of cases a day of, of surgical pathology or microbiology, we'd see a couple of cases maybe you know, once a month or something like that. And probably 95% of the time it was somebody who had traveled from outside of the country in an endemic area to the United States. The classic example is somebody from Africa who had traveled to the United States and uh, was developing fever and chills and pains. And then we look at a blood smear and we see a malaria parasite. Now, I very commonly get the question about parasites in my comments on videos. And then I will click on the person's uh, profile and I will see that they are selling a parasite cleanse. And they want me to verify that parasites are causing all these problems. And I, I hate to tell you, but they're not. And when you make a video like this, it's, you know, I'm gonna put it up and then you'll see comments. They'll either be attacking me or they'll be like bots saying, well, I did a parasite cleanse and I, I felt 10 times better and I was able to, you know, run fast and jump high. Um, but it's really just more of the snake oil thing that we see increasingly in this country. And one final thing, the big one is, do parasites cause cancer? Uh, you know, I, so I have seen probably tens of thousands of cases of cancer over the last two decades. Uh, never has there been a parasite within the tumor or causing the tumor. However, they, the, the scammers usually get around this because if you go to medical textbooks, it is true that in some cases, uh, chronic, chronically inflamed tissue from a parasite can result in a cancer. Um, the classic example is something called schistosoma hematobium, which can occur in the bladder uh, and cause a squamous cell carcinoma of the bladder, which is a type of cancer. However, the number of cases in the United States, I don't have the numbers, but it's probably zero in the last 40 years. Uh, these are mostly from areas endemic with that parasite. So my advice is uh, save your money. Don't worry about parasite cleanses. It's probably just going to cause you to go to the bathroom and maybe that'll make you feel better. By the way, if you're interested in this kind of content, consider giving me a follow. Go to my link tree and look at my other places where I make content. And I'm starting to get more active at a popular video sharing website that's been around since about 2005 and rhymes with Blue Cube. Uh, please go over there and follow that because we're gonna be growing a lot over there. And that one is called Knife After Death, which is the same name as my podcast.